Huffer McGraw gave a statement to the press, and she was talking about women and, and athletics and women in the world today. And her quote was so profound, I felt obligated to make sure I re-aired it for listeners out there so you could hear this yourself. Listen to the coach of Notre Dame basketball, women's basketball. Talk about women in the world of sports and women in the world, period. Listen to this. I'm getting tired of the novelty of the first female governor of this state, the first female African-American mayor of this city. When is it going to become the norm instead of the exception? How are these young women looking up and seeing someone that looks like them preparing them for the future? We don't have enough female role models. We don't have enough visible women leaders. We don't have enough women in power. Girls are socialized to know when they come out, gender roles are already set. Men run the world. Men have the power. Men make the decisions. It's always the men that is the stronger one. And when these girls are coming out, who are they looking up to to tell them that that's not the way it has to be? And where better to do that than in sports? All these millions of girls that play sports across the country, they could come out every day, and we're teaching them great things about life skills, but wouldn't it be great if we could teach them to watch how women lead? This is a path for you to take to get to the point where in this country we have 50% of women in power. We have less, less now, right now less than 5% of women are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. So yes, when you look at men's basketball and 99% of the jobs go to men, why shouldn't 100 or 99% of the jobs in women's basketball go to women? Maybe it's because we only have 10% women athletic directors in Division I. People hire people who look like them, and that's the problem. Bravo. She is 1,000% on the money. A matter of fact, John, if you don't mind, do me a favor. Reach out to that wonderful woman. I would love to have her on my show at one point um, and interview her about this very, very topic because she's right. Now, I can tell you that as an African-American male, we certainly can debate. When you talk about bias and prejudice and being pigeonholed and held back, I don't, I personal, my personal belief is nobody has black men beat in that category. Nobody. One could make the argument that affirmative action, which was supposed to be something that benefited minorities, benefited women, particularly white women, because they were labeled a minority, more so than it benefited African Americans. Those are things that have been said. I have not looked at those numbers, so I don't definitively know. I know what has been told to me by educators as it pertains to that particular category. But that glosses over the bigger point that Muffin McGraw was making. And that is this. She is 1,000% correct. There are not enough women in power. Women have been marginalized and pigeonholed. And quite frankly, it's kind of embarrassing when men religiously will admit women are smarter than us. They just are. They just are. They're more in tune with their emotions. And a lot of times when they're in leadership positions, they handle stuff a hell of a lot better than men. So I wouldn't say it needs to be a 50-50 split per se, but maybe it does. But I will tell you where she's, it's, it's, it's undeniable she's right. If 99% of the men or 100% of the men are coaching, men's sports, how come the same isn't applicable to women? The fact of the matter is, I said this this morning on first take, my television show on ESPN with Max Kellerman and Molly Kerr airs every weekday from 10 a.m. to noon, Eastern Time, 7 to 9 a.m. Pacific. I said it this morning, and I'll say it again. I have always, always had a problem with men coaching women's sports. We got enough. As men, I'm talking about white, black, Latino, Asian, doesn't matter. As men, the male species, we have enough. Why is it that we have to be coaching women's basketball? 
Gino Oriana is phenomenal. He's a winner. I have always had a problem with the fact that he ain't the coach of the men's UConn team. I believe women should be coaching women's sports because you don't give them an opportunity to coach the men. It's like, damn, why can't the women do that? These women play, and when they play, after they play, they want to coach. I'm appalled when I see men with female assistants for women's basketball. And that's no knock against Geno at all because I love him. And he's phenomenal. It's not his fault. I'm not blaming any individual. I'm simply saying systemically, I don't believe men should be coaching women's sports unless you're going to have women coaching men's sports. Where's the female head basketball coach in the NBA or college basketball? Where are they in NFL or college football? Where the hell are they? And if they're not there, why should we be in their domain? Can't they have something? It's ridiculous. I just thought that needed to be said. Muffin McGraw is absolutely right. And she has a supporter in me with that statement because she's right on the money. 